Okay, these are the uh, badass dumbbells that I just received a couple of weeks ago. And I uh, unpacked them from the full boxes. Um, they were shipped in full boxes with um, an assembled dumbbell in each of two boxes. Um, right now, I have it set up for... Uh, 27 and a half pounds, but when they came, um, each assembled dumbbell was uh, packaged with um, 47 and a half pounds. So I took off two 10 pound plates from each of the dumbbells. And then the other two packages had um, four, um, these are 12.5 pound plates. And so um, the other two packages have four of these 12.5 pound plates each. And um, I haven't used these uh, yet, really. Um, I think they're okay. They, they feel good when, when you pick it up. And uh, the, the grip is nice. Um, the thing that makes it a little different than the dumbbells that you uh, use at the gym is that this handle width here is probably a little bit wider. But um, I, I guess it's okay. Um, in terms of the quality, I guess I'm not a welding expert, but I guess the weld looks okay, more or less. And the quality of the finish isn't that great, but I guess it's acceptable. So I think what I found is, let's see if we see this. Like you can see my glove here has some black marks. Uh, maybe it'll show up here. But I think um, these cast iron plates were spray painted black and I think um, they were rushing them out. So the factory that they were doing it in had a lot of uh, a lot of overspray. So you can see this is one of the packing paper that was used to sandwich in the um, plates. You can see there's a lot of black marks over here. So I think these are overspray from the paint that was in the air at the factory. And uh, you can see the plates themselves. Let's see if I can find one. They're not like perfectly round. Um, like right here. I don't know if it shows up here. You can see where... Let me try and point to it. Right around here, there's some notches and Im imperfections. So I would say they're not great looking. It's, it's okay. And I think um, if this set were a little bit cheaper, I would have no issue with it. But in total, after shipping and the currency con conversion, it cost um, $825 to get this set, which... Um, goes up to 97 and a half pounds for each dumbbell so I think that's a little bit expensive for what it is and I guess uh, if it weren't for the um, shortage right now I, I don't think anyone would be paying that kind of price for it but you know so I think for 825 it's a little bit high for this kind of quality if it were like maybe 400 then I think it's uh, perfectly fine. But as as it is, it's you know if you want to use weights, this is what what you get. Let's see if I have any other. Um, you can see some of those things with the finish here. Like um, this is kind of a, it's a little sticker that they place on here. But I noticed, for example, let's see if I can find it. Okay, like for example, this sticker here has kind of a plastic laminate over it. And you can see that this laminate has already torn off. There's a notch here. So, I mean, they're not like the prettiest dumbbells that you'll see. But um, I guess in terms of function, it's going to be okay. And here's some of the, if you look at my fingertips... You can see some of the black 
uh, I think these are part pink dust that has that is coming off. So I I've already wiped it once, but I need to do a second wiping, and hopefully I, I can get everything off. Let's see here. So uh, yeah. Okay, that's it.